Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. One of you could do but that to me. I like it old school. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as <coughs> long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Lewis begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? 
I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Can I actually reverse time? Victoria? Why Arvis? Because of her... I did it. Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Dang freak it. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes when of When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he, saw humanity's if he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. <clears throat> I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp it's... reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Max. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson <laughs> Max. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Uh, how come I can't move? Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Excuse me. Photography's future stars of. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. 
I have faith in you. Okay, yep. Goodbye. Oh shit. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Get out. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know, you're not running fast enough. I'm sure, I'm sure you can run quicker than that. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This What's up, Silver Crow? How's it going, man? I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not Love this game. Yeah, man, me out. too. Me too. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <clears throat> Hold on, Max. Come back here. Try to get out. <laughs> um, no, I haven't played the new one. Out. I watched someone play Are it though. Okay? It looked really good. I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw scumbag. Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No, that's cool. Nothing bad than the truth, right?
Washington Prescott, please come to the front office. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Two thousand thirteen. So what year is it now? I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Dorm? Where's that? Isn't that in the school? I can't even remember much about this game. There's a sign somewhere. Dormitories. Okay, it's this way. <clears throat> yeah, sorry I'm running everywhere. I'm playing with my mate in a bit, so I thought I'd just quickly, just, you know. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Is there no game tag on your stream? Yeah. What do you mean, Silver Crow, by no game tag? Do you mean I the game, room, like the game title I'm playing? There's skulls in the way. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. How are we going to do this? Ah, oh, I think I remember this. Oh, it's Kate. Hey, Kate. Whoa, you're just going to not talk to me? Okay. I mean, you select the game from the dashboard. Oh, really? Um, it should be on there. Maybe you need to just re refresh the page. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use.
can I even press the button? I can just look at it, okay. Missed something. I better rewind. What did I miss? Oh, temper. Right. Okay, okay. let's see if this works. Yeah, but if you did that, he wouldn't be able to pick it up, would he? <laughs> huh. But no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for. Okay, let's see if this works. Keep walking, hippie. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Oh, dude. Da 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 da. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Oh. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look. Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh shit. No. It says life is strange on my one. I don't know what's going on, man. No way! No fucking okay, way! Okay, Victoria? Oh Samuel is sorry. Splurge. <laughs> well, my pain is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Don't mess with Max. Okay, let's just walk around this. Are you still gonna be in the way, bitch? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? <laughs> you like this bit? <laughs> uh... What should I do? You know what, I'm gonna come for her. This is funny. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that, were you, mate? <laughs> but you weren't expecting the, um... Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. It's cool. 
We're not all mean motherf we're not all mean people here. <laughs> when I first played it, I was like, yeah, fuck you, Victoria, you piece of shit. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Okay. Where is Max's room? Here it is. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. What's your put? My room. <laughs> it's just a picture. <laughs> <clears throat> Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Okay, so we need the pen drive, right? Uh, where the fuck is it? I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren okay. makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Uh, where is your... Hell yeah, I'm gonna water the plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Um... We gotta find this pen drive. Where the fuck is it? Oh, I think I remember. It's in the DVDs. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Uh, who's it from? Dana. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Mm-hmm. Here we go. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Stupid. Answer, you wuss. Ugh. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Julia. Uh, Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my it. name at all. <laughs> I got it. What of the course fuck? I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Gotta go in Victoria's room? Damn. Okay. Uh, where's Victoria's room? Victoria, okay. Oh, is it open? What the fuck? So we've got to look for evidence, I believe. Um... It's got to be on the computer, right? 
I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How do you print it? Uh, print email. <clears throat> How are you though, Silver Crow? How are you doing, man? I printed it. Where the hell? Huh. Take. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Good thing I didn't bump into uh, to Victoria, right? <laughs> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dina. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. That was a bad, uh, golem voice. Oh. What place is this? How do we get out of this place? This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Superhuman Max. Can you not lose your shit again? Zachary? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. It's not my business to interfere, so I'm just gonna I take a photo. Me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront, so you better figure out what side you're on. Please leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. It wasn't my business. It wasn't my business to step in. Man, 
Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. I won't bother you then. I have to go see Warren before he melts. See you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll all be partying later with Zack and Victoria and the Vortex Club. Uh, yeah. Sure. See you around, Max. Oh, well, look whose car this is. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go see Warren then. Yo, Max, check it out. What, your car? Look at Warren and his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little missensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. <laughs> Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. <laughs> I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl will, too. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Why are you telling him? Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. 
Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> oh, shit. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Goodbye! <laughs> Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Uh... Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. <laughs> Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Uh... Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Uh... I know it sounds sorry I won't cut it with you, Chloe. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max.
Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Uh, what the hell is it? It won't play without any power. Why wouldn't you had that on? Damn, trying to save on the electric. Then I guess you're never here, so I reckon someone else turned it off, right? Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Disc? Where did she keep a disc? In the trash can? <laughs> hey, what you doing, bravery? I'm just playing, um,. Just playing Life is Strange, would there be something in the drawer? We had such a blast drawing these together. Not bad art. Not bad at all. Will it be in the box? Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Is that a pig? That was a cat. What? Houston, we have a brave. Life is brave. <laughs> oh, where's this freaking CD? If I look at the desk. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Is there a look in the trash can? I bet there's something in there. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? <laughs> she does love trouble. Hell yeah, trouble finds her, right? Or she finds it. Here we go, sweet. About time. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never <laughs> made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. 
she just left Arcadia. Without a word. So there gonna be another me. game of this? I don't think there will be. Maybe with Max and uh and uh Rich Lambert, maybe. <laughs> What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Okay, let's try and melly you out. Damn. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? <clears throat> sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay, goodbye. I guess I go to the... Go to the tool shed, or the garage. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. Okay, do I, do I just exit this? Yeah, I did. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. It's that swear jar. All right, again. It looks full. Oh no. <laughs> I'd love to go to Paris too. <laughs> At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Where the hell is this toolbox? My fucker. Uh -huh. I didn't see this bit. Oh dear, that was straight through it. More corned beef. Hey Skylar, welcome, welcome Skylar. How are you? Tools. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Tiny tools. Uh, consequences for opening the cupboard. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Because dishbags like... Like the, what do you call it? Ooh, precision screwdrivers. 
Except I can't reach them. Now, uh, now I've played it on PC before, um, Skylar, so I, so I know what to expect. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Okay, Nexus. Hope you have fun on that game there, man. It looks pretty good. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oops. Um. Is that a quick way of doing this? Okay, I went too far, I think, but anyway, let's push this under. Turn this on. Jackpot. Jackpot, baby. Yes. You have mad skills, Max. Okay, so have I got the I've tools? I've got the tools. Okay. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Mm hmm Oh, I could have went through that way. That would have been quicker. Very well. Doesn't matter. Where's the music? I didn't expect anything this wistful from Chloe. Maybe it reminds her of Rachel. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. No, uh, we watched, um, oh, I'm not sure if, were you there? I'm not sure you were, but um, I watched someone stream that, but I didn't see the end of it though. So? I can't fix this <laughs> thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. this before uh no way when did you take this you took this photo you brat in the bathroom today you set off the alarm that's why nathan raged after you it totally makes sense you hella saved my life mm -hmm. now tell me the truth max <laughs> you're gonna tell me what happens uh how can i say i wasn't there if the the picture Okay, I guess we weren't gonna make up for everything. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Um, I did, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Max did. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. 
So you must have overheard our conversation. Um... Not really. <laughs> I was freaking out. I could only hear Nathan ranting. So then you did hear us. Okay, I only heard <laughs> something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass <laughs> only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. Okay, Scarlet, I will be here. This was my real father's camera. Probably gonna do. To have it. That's so cool. I don't you know. Remembered my birthday. Episode but one, maybe start this. episode two. Can. I'm not sure. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that phony white ass. Or take my <laughs> picture with your new camera. <laughs> Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that bump shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm, not I'm hiding. changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. I'm not. I'm not Wait hiding. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh Fuck, I don't know I don't know what choice to make. I don't know what choice to make. Um What's he gonna what's he gonna do to me? And um, what can he do to Chloe? Sorry Chloe, but you're taking this one. No way, that's not mine. Oh of course not. I'm sure Chloe gets all the best shit, right? I'm sure she gave you good friend rates. Why don't you get off my crack? Stop taking your war rage out on high school girls. You haven't seen rage, you little- Fuck you, pig! I- Listen. You asked for that. Oh, you know exactly really? what you're doing. For your own good, you should stay away from Chloe. She's a loser, and she'll only drag you down. 
Stick to doing your homework. Listen, David. I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You only think you're tough and clever. This too shall pass. Now clean this pigsty up. I'm sorry, Chloe. I didn't know what to do. Whatever. Everybody bails on me. Even my best friend Max, don't you? Wow. So That's done with cold. everybody in this town. I wish I hadn't even seen you. Because <clears throat> if you care, color me out of here. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. He's always what a mean bastard. What if I had stepped up to help? He's always been a mean bastard. Nothing's gonna change. Um, did she climb out of the window? What the fuck? <clears throat> you are without a doubt the most bravest brave ever in the history of the bravery braves. <laughs> been here in forever so why do I feel like I was just here Whoa! this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today at <laughs> least face that's what Nathan did he slapped him on the face New messages. By the way, thanks, but we're, but, but we're we're not friends. Wow, you didn't believe me, mother. Holy shit. Chicken out. I didn't chicken out. I was just doing what I buy. They're just so lucky. They can always escape. Birdie. Can I sit down? You sure you don't want to be alone? Welcome back. Sit down. Welcome if back, Skylar. Uh Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Yep. Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I thought we had taken his photo. I'm glad I took his photo with Kate, just in case. Why was he all up in her shit? He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Uh... I wish. You know I would have read them. I'd love to. They must be important, or he wouldn't hide them deep in his garage bunker. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets.
even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything yeah. was a blur. Fuck. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. Let's call the police. What are the police gonna do? He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. <laughs> I will always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh shit, I'm dead. I have to rewind now. Uh, where the fuck do I go? I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Oh, I did go back to the start. What the hell? Okay, I know what to do now. Okay, Nexus.
is guiding you to the top of the mountain. Oh my lord! The tornado is back!
thanks for playing. That's only the first episode. Why would you say that? So let's have a look at the statistics before I go. Um, how do I go to next? Was well, this it? Friend stats. You reported Nathan. Who's my friends then? There's no names coming up. You can, you can, you comforted Victoria. Holy shit, 100%. 66% comf comforted Victoria. I didn't expect that. Okay, I took a photo of David harassing Kate, but everyone chose the other one. Damn. Uh, you blamed Chloe. I don't know what the stats are on that one, I can't see. <clears throat> it says next. I don't know how to go next there. Oh, there we go. You didn't sign Miss Grant's petition you didn't let Daniel draw your portrait huh you helped Al Alyssa you didn't erase Kate's slate oh wow I didn't even notice that you watered the plant of course uh, you didn't touch Dana's. Why? Ugh, why would someone else touch someone else's thingy? You, you didn't touch Victoria's what phone? You didn't write on a dirty RV. Huh. Wonder who's RV. You let the bird die. What? Really? I don't even remember that part. You didn't break Chloe's snow globe. You left evidence while searching through David's stuff. No, I didn't leave any evidence. You didn't read David's files. Okay, if I'd have read them, it would have helped Kate out, I guess. 